Colonel B sting is an uncommon environmental eye injury that can result in various ocular complications. Unfortunately, due to the scarcity of this condition, there is no clear guideline for management of affected individuals. Overall, in the current literature, the clinical approach to coronal B sting remains controversial, ranging from conservative to surgical choices. In this report, we present our experience in management of a patient with coronal B sting. Additionally, we suggest a general guideline for management of this condition. A 40-year-old male patient was admitted to our clinic after he was stung by a bee in the right eye. On admission, we noticed right upper and lower eyelid edema and significant conjunctival injection. On slit lamp by microscopy, we found a bee stinger embedded into the corner, which could not be extracted externally. Patient was started with topical antibiotic, corticosteroid, and cycloplegic at first. But unfortunately, over the ensuing two days, we detected stromal infiltration around the site of the sting. This condition led us to choose a surgical approach to remove the stinger from the corona. When I noticed the patient, there was infiltration at the site of a sting, a bee's sting and it was too difficult to remove the stinger and the resitlam examination. So we were obliged to took the patient to the operating room. After doing prep and drip, we did a perpendicular incision at the side of the stinger with a sharp knife. Then, with the help of tiny forceps and needle, I removed the stinger completely. Then I made a, a suture with 10 on nylon. Accompanying with the published article, we provide a comprehensive video about the stages of our surgery. Additionally, nine photos pertaining to our follow-up period of 30 days are provided. Also, we perform a brief review on the published articles of this field. We suggest a two-stage management for cases with coronal B-Sting. At first stage, if the stinger is readily accessible or primary dramatic reactions, especially on the visual axis, exist, manual or surgical removal would be indicated. Otherwise, we recommend conventional treatments for eye injuries, including antibiotics, corticosteroids, and cycloplegics. Given this situation, patients should be closely monitored for detection of any worsening. If the condition did not resolve or even deteriorated, a second stage surgical removal of the seizure under local or generalized anesthesia is indicated.